Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to share with you a new discoveries video. I haven't done one of these for a really long time and I have a ton of skincare that I'm going to be doing like brand overviews and stuff, but I have a few select items that I've been pulling from certain brands to test out that I think are really worth sharing. This is relative first impressions, but I would say that each of these I've used at least a handful of times, so I have a really good idea that they're worth sharing. If you're new here, my name is Penny. I am a master esthetician. I'm super excited that you're here. I love finding really, really interesting gems, and I love finding things that may help different people, people with skin other than you know my skin type. So I do hope that you will consider subscribing before you go. We do all kinds of skincare content on this channel. We talk about procedures in office. We talk about plastic surgery. We talk about skincare. We do protocols. And of course, we do skincare reviews. And we like to discover new skincare together. So if that sounds good to you, I really do hope you will consider subscribing before you go. Okay, let's get into it. Number one, let's talk about, okay, we're gonna talk about more mud. M-O-O-R, mud. Now, this is a type of mud that is very rich in calcium and in magnesium. And then it's also rich in fulvic and humic acids. So I was really interested in replacing my beloved Elemis 4000 Flower Mask. Only reason for that is because it does contain some citrus peel oils. And while it is a rinse off mask, and I definitely am going to continue to use it because I love it, I really wanted to find something that was fragrance free and something that definitely did not have any of those citrus peel oils in them. And I came across this one from Shazandu, uh, Shazandu Face Revitalization. This is the Wild Crafted More Mud Mask. Now I picked this one up. I ordered this off of Amazon and essentially this is just straight up more mud. And like I said, it is rich in fulvic and humic minerals as well as in that um, calcium and magnesium. They're, they're part of that mineral rich formula. The reason why I think that fulvic masks are so great is because they can help to purify the skin. They can help to balance sebum production. They also can really help with inflammation and they can help with brightening the skin. It's really, really great if you have a breakout, if you've noticed excessive um, oil production, if you have noticed that your skin tone just doesn't look very, um, it looks dull. Your complexion looks dull. I have dry and dehydrated skin and I've used this now probably five times and I love it. I think it is really great. I think that this will go further than my Thousand Flower Mask, and this has absolutely no essential oils, no fragrance whatsoever, anything like that. I will say that this feels like it purifies my skin just a little bit more than the, the uh, Thousand Flower Mask did. So I would say if you are normal, combo, oily, acne prone, anything like that, you may really love this. But because I am dry and dehydrated and I love it, I think it's probably good for all skin types. I definitely do notice that it kind of just makes my complexion look, my pores look more refined. And I'm sure that that has to do with the oil production and kind of the purification, but it's really, really a beautiful mask. Okay, next we're gonna talk about a little bit of Dermalect. Now, I ordered a ton of stuff from the brand because I was really interested in checking out. They have some really interesting products. I have used in the past their eye cream like a long, long time ago. And it's funny because I hadn't used it for a few years, but I remembered it because it comes in this really distinctive red packaging. So when I went to their site, I picked out probably six or seven things. I'm gonna do a brand overview, but I really wanted to share a couple things that I think are pretty incredible that are worth just being on your radar. The first one is going to be the Get Lifted Instant Facelift. Let me tell you that I think that the name, I get what they're doing with the name, I do, but there is absolutely nothing on planet Earth that comes in a bottle that you pump out that's going to give you a facelift, okay? And I am definitely not trying to say that that's what this does. However, this is a really, really interesting product. It has in it honey, way up at the top of the list of its ingredient deck, and honey is really, really good for your skin. It's antibacterial, it's anti-inflammatory, it is hydrating, it's soothing and calming. It just does all kinds of great things for the skin. I mean, several years ago on this channel, I was making up my own Manuka honey mask for, you know, at home during COVID. That's when it was, it was during COVID, because Manuka honey is so fantastic. I was mixing it with turmeric, and it was just a great 
great DIY mask that I was doing. Well, Manuka honey is way up there in the ingredient deck. But that is not why I think that this is super interesting. What makes this really interesting is that it has uh, an ingredient in there called albumin, and that is essentially egg whites. And that may sound really funky to a lot of you, but what that's gonna do is that when you put it on your skin, it's moisturizing your skin, but it's also tightening your skin physically. And when you put this on, you can feel that happening. Now, this is not like the Peter Thomas Roth product that leaves that white powder. This is something that you can put your makeup on over and everything. I mean, I'm wearing it today and I definitely put my makeup on, which actually is also from Dermalect, and you can feel the tightness. I wore this yesterday as well and I remember being in the car like, five hours after I had put this on and I could still tell that my skin felt tightened. It's pretty, it's pretty interesting and I definitely thought it's worth sharing. I only use a couple of pumps, maybe three pumps, and I might even be overusing it. And I kind of tried to focus on this area under my eyes and then down my neck, but essentially I end up putting it all over because I didn't want it to be patchy under makeup or anything. But I tried to focus those areas, like rub it into those areas first and then go back through it and kind of feather it everywhere else. At least that's how I did it. Um, the other things that are in here that are really interesting is there are some peptides in here that are components of Matrixyl 3000. There's also some peptides in here that are anti-inflammatory, that are also moisturizing. So there's some really interesting ingredients in here. The one downfall is that it does have a fragrance in it down at the bottom of the list. So that's something worth noting for sure. But because this is one of those that's really, really kind of unique and interesting, I'm completely overlooking the fragrance and I'm just gonna let that go this time. Now they do say that you should use this on clean skin, but I've only done that once and it was fine. Because of that honey, it actually does moisturize your skin. So it doesn't leave your skin feeling super dry and tight. It leaves your skin feeling kind of tight but pretty moisturized. It's interesting. You don't feel like slick moisturized or anything like that, but I didn't feel dry or anything because sometimes if I don't, don't use enough of my hydrating skincare, I can feel dry. I've actually used this over a moisturizer and I've used it over my needleless serum, which actually I think this over needleless serum is like a match made in heaven. Really great combination. I just let that needleless serum kind of soak into my skin for a little while, like at least 10 minutes, because then I feel feel like my skin is at least kind of dry. Then I put this on and I let it just, I let it dry down, if you will, before I go in with makeup or anything. But then I put on my makeup and I definitely feel like it gives this kind of, kind of refined appearance. It is not a facelift. It is not going to change, you know, your jowls or anything, but it does kind of tighten the skin a little and would be really nice, um, you know, if you want just a little bit extra kind of tightening primer underneath your makeup. So speaking of makeup, the other thing, one of the other things that I did pick up from Dermalect is their, this is the Redness Rehab Conceal and Correct. I actually picked this up because I have redness. I've talked about that on this channel many times and I use several different things that are anti-redness. You guys have heard me talk about my Herborian. This is the CC Red Correct. I absolutely love this product. It comes out and it's a little bit like a pale green and then when you massage it in, it turns into kind of a beige and if you have redness in your skin, that pale green will counteract some of that redness. This is good for me in the middle of the winter when I'm a little bit more pale because it's a lighter color. Then I also have my Rosalique that I picked up when I was in London. That one is definitely for when I'm self tanned or, you know, a little bit more tan looking because it's a darker, almost like olive green. This one is more of a beige color with an, a green, yellow undertone. It, it does not look green to start off with like the others. But in real life, there is an undertone of that that is slightly color corrective. Okay, so you've got that. I find that it looks absolutely gorgeous on the skin. I'm wearing it today. It's the only foundation that I'm wearing. I am wearing a spot treatment that I'm gonna share with you that I think is super cool. I put not very much of this on and I bounced it in with a beauty blender. And honestly, it is so pretty. It really reminds me a lot of a foundation that I used to love. Um, by Kenibo. Well, now it's called Sensai. And you can't get that in the States anymore unless you overpay for it and order it like on Amazon or something. 
which I still love that foundation, but it's just not widely available. It reminds me of that because it gives this really skin-like finish. And I just think it's really pretty. It's a very minimal finish. So it's not like heavy coverage. I would say it's light to medium coverage, but you could build it up. What I really like is that it cancels out redness without giving me any green cast whatsoever. The other thing that I really like is the ingredient deck of this is absolutely stellar. This is skincare meets makeup. In fact, I would actually call this tinted skincare because the ingredient deck, we are going to look at it together, you guys. The ingredient deck is so beautiful. So we have hydrolyzed collagen, which is essentially chopped up collagen that's going to be helpful with hydrating the skin and you know providing some moisture to the skin. The other thing about hydrolyzed collagen is, depending on who you talk to, there may be a chance that because that collagen is broken up that the um, the skin sees that and produces its own collagen. You know, I don't know if I buy into that as far as a topical is concerned, but certainly if nothing else, it helps to moisturize the skin. It also has a peptide that is a relative of argireline. So that is the peptide that is famous for being Botox in a bottle. So put on dynamic muscles, it's supposed to help with that so that, you know, you have like a softer appearance. It has a peptide that is kind of a relative of that. This one also has green tea. It has aloe. It has a pomegranate. It has licorice extract which is very soothing and can help with brightening the skin this has grapeseed um, extract which is awesome chamomile it has a couple other peptides that are part of the matrixyl 3000 peptide and that is going to help with cell to cell communication really really great to see in a product that is also coverage this has colloidal oatmeal colloidal oatmeal is fantastic for red skin because it's very soothing and it can be helpful just to kind of calm the skin then this also has, my gosh, it has turmeric. So turmeric is what I was just talking about. You can make your own DIY mask with turmeric and manuka honey. Very, very calming to the skin. So this is just packed with really cool ingredients that are great for redness, that are great for soothing the skin, that are gonna be great for tone, and then it's beautiful on the skin. So this, to me, is a really, really wonderful discovery from the brand. These two things were the two things that I decided to kind of start testing out out of all of the things that I bought. There is one more thing that I'm really, really excited about. It's an eye product, but I haven't started testing it yet. These two, I'm immediately kind of like, okay, now I'm excited about this brand because it's so interesting and different. And I find that um, I'm excited to use them. So I wanted to share those with you today. The next thing that I'm gonna share is kind of a little bit different for me, but it's called Boo Boo Cover Up. I don't even really know how this happened, but I had a couple of pimples and or or breakouts from trying so much skincare. And I was on Amazon and I was actually searching up, you know, like spot cover. And I thought I'm gonna look and see if I can find something that is really, really amazing for covering up blemishes. And if you have any really great suggestions for that, then please do leave it down below because I'm always on the hunt because I now have a teenager and another tween. And, you know, we're starting to see a little bit of that kind of thing. And while I am like, whatever, if they express to me that they would like to, you know, cover any of that stuff up, I certainly would like to be prepared for that. I bought this for myself though, because I had some blemishes on my face. This is so great. Now I will tell you that the ingredient deck does not um, does not stand out to me as something that I would think is so fantastic or would help with healing blemishes or anything like that. Before I picked it up, I read a ton of the reviews and over and over and over people were talking about how they can't live without this, that it's the best thing that they've used for their acne you know, blemishes, their old acne scars, their, you know, just any imperfection that they absolutely love this. So so I ordered it in medium and I ordered it in light. And what it reminds me of is there used to be a concealer by the brand, I think the brand was Awake. And it was a concealer that when you put it on, it was supposed to flex with your skin. So it never got crusty and it just almost looked like a Band-Aid but a skin Band-Aid, which essentially means that it looked like your blemish was just covered with, with skin, right? Which is what you want when you're trying to heal something. That is what this looks like. You put it on and it doesn't look like your normal concealer. It literally looks like it turns into 
like skin over a blemish. It's really super duper cool. You need the tiniest amount to cover a little pimple or something like that. But from reading the reviews, this is also good for, you know, like I said, covering, you know, acne scarring or anything you're trying to heal. I think some of it might be that it has a bunch of occlusives. It does have silicones in there. It does have mineral oil in it, which typically I would not be putting on top of a pimple. But I definitely have noticed that when I use it, my pimple heals and it's concealed the whole time. So the magic of the potion is apparently not clear when I look at the ingredient deck, but the proof is in the pudding when I use it on my face and all of those reviews. So I wanted to share this with you because it's not something I normally have in my arsenal because I don't get a lot of breakouts, but when I do find something pretty cool, I'm going to share it. This one for me is the medium. And this is the one that I think matches my skin the best. The light is pretty light. And I would say that if you're lighter than me, you might really like the light. If you're around my color or even a tiny bit darker, you might like the medium. I actually got them both and I thought that because I was ordering it sight unseen, I thought that I might be able to mix them. And that is probably what I would do if I was just a touch lighter. I'd mix a little bit of the light in. But I, can't not, I cannot express to you how little you need. It is a tiny little dot. And I usually do put it on just by patting it in with a finger. But I think a concealer brush, like a pinpoint concealer brush, would be even better because you would not be able to see the blemish whatsoever at all if I applied it that way. I mean, it disappears and literally looks like skin on top of a blemish. It's really pretty cool. So that is the Boo Boo Cover Up. So those are all of the new discoveries I'm going to share today. But like I said, right over there is a ton of skincare that I am investigating, testing out, you know, trialing and doing all of that stuff. It's going to take me a while to get through that and share. I would love to hear if there are any brands or overviews that you would like. I had some suggestions under the last couple videos that I had, and I will definitely be looking into some of these other brands that I've gotten suggestions. I have to kind of pace myself or else, you know, I end up with foot skincare. And um, obviously a bunch of this is going to end up get, getting given away in my Facebook group, but um, just more fun for everyone. Anyway, I do hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you are having a really wonderful day and I will talk to you in my next skincare video. Take care.